Hi there. Often people come asking that why the orientation to build a pool on top of the decade? What went into the architecture? Why were we so confident in placing the pool on top of the building? Number one, the space that we had at the time was just a half plot of land. And we had to be able to minimize it such that we are able to get the pool as we would have it. What did we do? We got the structural engineer for them to be able to check the structural integrity of the building and be able to advise if indeed we can be able to have a pool like we are having here. So what did we do? He advised that we run beams. So over here, you are seeing a huge concrete which is seated on a beam. And the beam is not hanging, it runs through from here up to the end of the building, from there up to the end of the building. Then we also had other supporting beams, uh, the ones we call the hidden beams, underneath them. Then we did double rod and we had rods underneath, rods on top for us to be able to build a pool. But let me state this, one of the keys when it comes to building a pool is to have a very good waterproofing material. And indeed, where we are standing here is exposed to the harsh weather conditions. Without a very prudent waterproofing agent, this concrete would equally leak. So we had to invest so much into waterproofing, have double layer waterproofing. Yes, it comes at a cost, but in the long run, it will save you so much. So what did we do again? We decided to hide few stuff here. So right on the stairs that I'm climbing, we decided to build our engine room underneath and use this place as an open space where you can be able to relax, sit, stand, and watch the ambience. And here we have, voila. So our schema, inlets, outlets, our lights, whatsoever, are all carefully and neatly done so that we don't have any issues. So, if not for my shoes, I would have simply moved into the pool and I can swim. Well, it's a mini pool. We are looking at the next one we'll be doing. Should be quite gigantic. And this will fit into a modern home where you don't have so much space but you can still be able to hang your pool on top. I'll be back to explain more tips on some of the decisions and how we were able to achieve them here whilst constructing the decade. Thank you.